What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you guys with another interesting, pretty darn cool video. You guys are going to like this. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to a, give a shout-out to my buddy Joe, and he's from Art Alien TV. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him, but um, he had found... Now, I know you guys have seen this um, because I've done this particular video here. This one here, of course, we had the last one besides this one. Uh, proof Mars had uh, past intelligent life. And I did this particular anomaly that was laying it looks like some kind of mechanical mechanism or something like that well funny enough a good friend of mine david garnett he had put on facebook um he had said hey chris do you mind if i take this and do a 3d rendering of it which he does on quite a few photos and does a great job well he had done this and said it was my mechanism well uh joe had put on there well we had found this prior um and i think it was in december uh which is right here and you can see this right here, December 2, or 2nd, uh, 2017, Mars propeller found and the ship confirmed by NASA rover. Now, I do give him props for this because, again, I wasn't the first one to find it. But to be truthful with you and be totally honest, there's no way of knowing who found these things. In fact, even Joe says, uh, this gentleman here, Laney, you can see it right here at the top, Laney Gabor. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that, so forgive me if you're watching this. I didn't mean to butcher your name. Um, but anyway, so... He found this, and you know, and of course, he handed it to uh, to Joe, and of course, uh, Joe mentions it from this point to about eleven. Uh, I think it's somewhere around 11, 11 minutes twelve seconds. I'll give you the link to it anyway. You guys can check his stuff. He's got some good stuff here, guys. So check his channel out. I think uh, I think you'll like it. Does some pretty good stuff. All right, here's another thing I think you guys will like. I just had another uh, gentleman. Uh, his name's Kyle. Um, he sent in a photo. And it, he said, I looked at this photo that you done. Now, this one here, of course, is from Pathfinder. You can see the lander here in the front. And, of course, you got the Sojourner rover right here. And if you guys remember, I did an enhancement of what's in the background. Now, what I said was it looks like vehicles of some sort right here, right here, and what looks like some weird framework in the back, okay? Now, very rarely... Um, do we have, you know, people will sit there and they'll research and they'll do their own research, which is awesome. Now, I've done this too. Uh, if you guys, guys go back to that video, you'll see it. Uh, this object here I did to the begin with. The, to begin with, And then I had done the background because I'm going, what is going on here? Somebody had mentioned, hey, Chris, this looks like there's a bunch of vehicles or something in the background. You need to check it out. So lo and behold, I did that. And like I said, they look like vehicles buried as one, two, three. And I'm going to show you that photo in a moment. And guys, very few people do the background, okay? Kyle did. He says, hey, listen, this is from my uh, my photo editing software. Um, I don't know if he stumbled on this by actually trying to enhance it, and this thing just found this. Um, I'm not sure, but great find. Uh, I'm going to show you what he found because this is pretty cool. Now, this is his particular uh, photo, enhanced. Now, what I find bizarre about this is a couple things. Now, you can see those weird vehicles are right here. One, two, and... The, the foreground I already enhanced, so it's no big deal. But what's in the background is crazy. Look at this. All the way across, all the way up. Now, notice how these things go behind the, this hill, right? I'm not, so, I'm not even really sure that's even a hill, to be truthful with you guys, but check that out. It goes behind, and there's some, like, you can still see it's behind it and comes back down, so on and so forth. And there's a couple that may be on top or... This was added to try to get rid of something that was, like, even closer to the foreground, and they wanted to take it out. I don't know. Here's another thing I observed. Now, this is a pan they had made. You can see it right here, and this shows it perfectly. One, two, three, four, and I believe there's another one over here somewhere. It's just, just barely noticeable. But what I notice is, is this a sunrise? Small, medium, and then large. Pretty crazy. Or does it just happen to be light coming from these structures? Now... Here's another option. Maybe just artifacts of the actual photo. I know you guys would agree with me. You never see anything in the background of these photos. You ever notice that? You always see right right from... Let me see if I can find it. You always see right from here. You don't see anything ever in the background. Now, that's possible because depending on the distance, right? Um, but it always seems like there might be just a fine line there. And that's where you're getting these these uh, photo artifacts that separate the, the actual photo and what they did in the background to block it out. Or is what we're seeing, and what we're seeing in this photo, is that real? I don't know. This is where it gets crazy, because I'll tell you what, that would kind of coincide with these vehicles sitting here, and there's a city right in the background. 
Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, guys, because these could be nothing more than artifacts of the photo. But what I find interesting is that this light, this lighted area is behind. See that? They're behind these actual artifacts. You guys be the judge of this. I'm, I'm kind of curious because this may be actually be a, a, an actual structures in the background. Like I said, the way that it goes behind and this light right here is also behind these what look like structures to me. I'm not saying that they are. There's no way to prove it. Pure speculation. Now, again, these are in the foreground compared to this light. This one is, and so is in this one. It almost seems like they took it different times of day, which they do many times. This is not the first time you see this. This happens many times. This is the reason why sometimes you look at a photo and there's a, there's a certain shadow on this rock, and it's totally different from the one over in this rock. Why? Because they're actual <clears throat> stitched together photos taken from different times of the day, and this would actually, this it almost looks like a sunrise coming up, up, and then up. And you notice it's in different times or different frames of this said photo now is it possible these are real let me show you what i did i actually just threw it over my photo now again this is the one i enhanced right here and what i did was i took his and dropped it on the background over this hill let me show you what i've got now it's a little his is a little bit more grainier but nonetheless it's there now whoops let me just zoom in now here's the vehicles all right now, I made this black and white in the back, so it blend even better instead of being like this bright orange and yellowy, right? But check this out. Is it possible that's what's really in the background? See it all? Let me just zoom back in. And here you go. Well, you just see the Sojourner. You don't see the actual lander, which I didn't want in the photo anyway. But check this out. Is it possible that those are real? And, of course, there's no way to vet this, so it's pure speculation. But... I think it's wild that if these are, in fact, vehicles, wouldn't surprise me if there's some kind of structures behind it or around them, because common sense, right? Vehicle city. Even if you lived in a country, you'd have to have houses. Most people have vehicles. So you guys tell me what you think. I think this is pretty wild, and it's a great find. Thank you, Kyle, for sending this in. Most people don't do the background. That's what I find intriguing about that. I'm glad he did it because, wow, even a buddy of mine, Joe, uh, not Joe, I'm sorry, um, Santo, uh, he was from Mars Unmasked. He did one. It looked like all pixelations in the back. They all had this raised area, and they look like these structures only in pixels. In other words, interrupted pixels. They all look like little structures, and then all of the other background had like uniform pixels except for on the, on the actual skyline. What do you guys think? Again, vehicles, structures. I don't know. You guys be the judge. Let me know what you think is going on here because I think that's pretty wild. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if those are, in fact, vehicles. Is it a possibly it's a city in the background, even if it's not um, been totally uh, decimated? I mean, listen, we can do that to, a, to a, a country easily, just germ warfare. You can kill off everything in the, in the city that's living, and the structures will stay standing and everything else, right? So anyway, you guys tell me what you think is going on. You know, share, like the video, leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on what's going on. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video.